Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Pisces. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. Now it could be a reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. We're using three different decks of cards today. We're going to start off the reading with the Light Sears Tarot, and then we're going to use the Radiant Rider Waite Tarot to clarify, and then close off the reading with the uh, Romance Angels. So let's get into the read, shall we? Angels of Love and Light, we please have clear and concise messages for Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, what do they need to know in relation to love for this week please and thank you. Ace of Wands in Reversal, okay interesting. So I feel like there is someone right now, okay, who isn't really showing you how they feel um, on a passionate level, okay. I feel like they're holding a lot in this person may be a bit fearful of being rejected by you if they were to come on, I'm getting come on too strong um, towards you. This person is really concerned um, that you are not going to feel the same way that they feel for you. Like there's a sense of you may not fancy this person. This person has a massive crush on you. They do want you. They want this connection. Um, but I'm feeling predominantly this person is more concerned about how you're going to feel really than how they can express themselves to you. OK, so I feel like there's that perception of you, whether you're going to be accepting them um, as they are or not, is actually overriding this this kind of urge to come forward towards you and tell you as it is with how they feel for you. I feel like um, my voice just wanted to close up a little bit there. So this person is having a lot of issues with um, expressing themselves because they just want to tell you how much they want you and how much they desire you, how much they want this, you know, I'm getting union, I'm getting told union, okay, so for a lot of you, you could be dealing with a light, uh, I'm getting, I'm getting the love of your life, I'm getting high level soulmate, I'm getting twin flame, I feel like all of my words are just wanting to rush out of me, like, I feel a bit tongue-tied, so maybe this person's tongue-tied over you, okay, they are trying to, I'm getting asked their friends for assistance on how they can approach you, you know, um, I'm getting like big me up type of thing, like maybe they've been, you know, not feeling too confident about themselves recently or for a little while and they may put you on a little bit of a pedestal here and they're kind of like just wanting you to, I'm getting to see them, okay. So maybe you're not even acknowledging this person right now and they just can't really hold back much longer from wanting to show you how they feel for you because it's it's getting really too much for this person, okay? I'm feeling that. It's getting too much for this person. Oh my gosh, with the tower. <laughs> this kind of like sexual tension um, with the tower and the ace of wands in reversal. I mean, this is overload for this person, guys, Aries and Scorpio, this person wants to get off the fence with the two of swords in reversal, they want to open up to you, they're hoping that you will listen to them, but they're scared of speaking up here with the ace of swords in reverse, okay, this person doesn't trust that they have the capability to be able to follow through and tell you how they feel and to be able to express themselves passionately with that magician in reversal and the king of cups in reverse, okay, you know, they have a lot of love for you, they do want to open up, but their just passion and desire for you is actually just overwhelming them so much that they're needing to get grounded here with the Knight of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles before rushing in and basically telling you that they've ended of an old situation in their life that they weren't happy in and they've put a pause on that here with the Eight of Wands in reverse and they have felt sad, I'm getting without you in their life um, and they have had a lot taken out of them in relation to their personal power. Like they've been, you know, feeling quite low in confidence here with the Emperor in reversal, Aries energy, um, that they've had to leave something that wasn't serving them. But they know that ultimately, if they leave what's not serving them, that, wow, if I can get my words out, ultimately they know, I feel like I, <laughs> this person may just see you and go Bleh, with their words, like complete word vomit. This person wants to leave whatever is not serving them anymore because they don't want to self-sabotage this connection with you. I'm getting any more. 
This person wants to close the gap between you and them. They want to close the difficult cycle that there has been between the two of you and show you that you are everything that they could ever have wanted here with that empress okay but they've been too i'm getting too chicken to say anything too scared to say anything with the full upright they want this new beginning um but they're letting their fears and insecurities and doubts kind of creep in here and get in the way of themselves from showing you how they truly well truly feel for you <laughs> and i was getting the word julie for some for some of you yeah Julie, and now I'm getting that so weird, truly scrumptious. What do you see when you see looking at me? I'm turning around on this music clock just turned by a key. I believe that's Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Like there's that. It's a really old film. There's this 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 you know um oh gosh what is his name dick van dyke and the, the woman in it and they're they're kind of dressing up as dolls or what have you and then she's on this music box and she sings this song um about you know being noticed and wanting of true love in their life so maybe this person feels like you know you're just not noticing of them and they want you to notice them maybe this person likes musicals okay Maybe you do, but that is what came through. I know it's really random, but that's 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 what I'm getting. Um, yeah. So anyway, guys, this person wants to travel to see you. They're fed up of feeling sad without you in their life. They know that they've had a lot to deal with someone else or in something else, and they're trying to get that under control. They're trying to manage it so that they can move on from the situation and so that you and them can have the fresh start that you are, you know both wanting to have but haven't had the opportunity of having it yet this person doesn't really want to wait any longer i feel like i feel like everything is happening too fast <laughs> like i feel like all of my words are coming out at me um i'm getting out at me and out of me so this person when they see you it's like you're going to be sitting there going oh my gosh like in shock because everything is just going to be outpoured at you and you may feel like it's a lot of like an over I'm getting overload of information and it may just be a bit maybe a bit um overwhelming here in relation to emotions that's what i'm picking up on okay but um yeah so if you guys are not necessarily interested in someone from the past coming back into your life and you're wanting of new love then i do have a new love singles reading available i have a playlist now um starting of a new series i'll put the link at the end of the reading for this um but also with those new love soulmate readings they can be for a new soulmate they can be for um people that are dating and you may have think or feel that um you've met uh, someone from your past life etc or you could be dealing with a twin flame here and it'll be new love because you may have not necessarily met this person in the 3d but you kind of know of something more between the two of you but also the new love readings for singles, they can be as someone coming back into your life and it feels like brand new love because they've changed and transformed. Now, as you guys know, I'm the messenger here. Um, so whatever comes through in those particular readings, they're not sign specific. They may be your reading, they may not be, you know, they may be your reading or may not, but you know, obviously you have to use your sense of discernment with those types of readings. But with the messages that come through, you may find something in those reading that resonates. Wow, I feel like I'm talking really, really quickly, too quickly. I feel like this person needs to calm down. They need to slow down. They need to kind of just, I'm getting like tempered them down. I feel like this person may have a lot of fire in their chart or maybe you do, but I feel predominantly this person does. and. I feel like this person just needs to have like a bucket of cold water thrown over them like they... <laughs> this person may have a tendency to sweat a lot i'm getting they sweat a lot or they just get like kind of palmy like sweaty hands um yeah <laughs> anyway right okay Whew. deep breath i feel like this person needs to take a deep breath here um <laughs> i'm getting told like when they think of you, it's like they need to have a cold shower. <laughs> I'm trying to keep this PG, guys. PG, please and thank you. <clears throat> what can we get for Pisces? 
Ten of Wands, yeah, they're heavily burdened here. I'm getting told sexually frustrated with that Ten of Wands. I mean, we already know that with the Tower and the Ace of Wands in reversal. It's like, yeah. There's a very strong kind of sexual energy between the two of you. There's love. Look at that Ace of Cups. Oh, gosh. Very much in love with you. Wanting a new beginning. The Fool could be dealing with an Aries or this person has strong Aries placements. Maybe you do. Okay. Four of Pentacles in reversal. It looked like it wanted to come upright, but then my hand kind of flipped and did this weird thing. So this person has been blocking of their heart, but they're wanting to open up to you. Um, they're hoping that you'll do all the same and they certainly don't want to let you go. That's the last thing that they could want here. Um, this person is very serious about dating you, but they know that other people are very much interested in you as well. They're hoping you and them can move on to calmer waters and they're feeling guided to open up to you here with the King of Cups in reversal. Okay. So this person feels very deeply, as we saw that earlier, but they're not opening themselves up. And I feel like they're about to here, okay? Because they're fed up of being separate from you. Yeah, they're fed up of being separate from you. Look at this, we have the world. So this person wants to end the cycle of your separation and they want you to renew of something together and they want to provide you stability with the King of Pentacles. They want to be, I'm getting your rock here. They want to be that kind of solid and stable person in your life. But potentially they may have to leave someone or something else first. That may be karmic in nature. Maybe a codependent connection of sorts. Whether that is to do with love or to do with family or work or something else. They're getting ready to suddenly leave from that situation. Okay because they um, don't want to be there anymore, okay? They felt sad here with that five of pentacles and the world in reversal. It's been very challenging to close out, but they're doing it anyway, because they know that they have unfinished business with you, so they are very determined to make these changes. Yeah, as I say that, look at that. The worst is over for you both with that world showing now upright. You may live at a considerable distance from one another. Seven of Cups in reversal. The Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. With the Ace of Wands coming now upright. Well, this person's definitely clear on who they want and what they want. And what they want is this very, very passionate, you know, exciting. Um, I'm getting the word enchanting, new beginning. I'm getting you put me under a spell. And then I'm getting told, did you put a love spell on me? <laughs> because I feel like this person actually feels a bit homesick, a bit lovesick. You know, um, they can't help themselves. They don't know how to even comprehend why they feel so deeply for you in the way that they do. But I don't feel like you've done any of that funny business. But this person thinks and feels like you've put a spell on them. And now they're yours. That's what I'm getting that song. Um, I put a spell on you and now that you're mine. Um, now I'm getting drawn to that kind of scene in that film in Hocus Pocus. Because I know the second film has recently come out. But I'm getting drawn to that scene in Hocus Pocus where they're all at this kind of reunion like dance hall. And there's that the, the three witches go and sing that song. I put a spell on you and now that you're mine. Yeah, I'm getting drawn to that. So maybe this person may want to kind of see you at a Halloween party or they may invite you out spontaneously to kind of do or something for Halloween. Or they love it when you kind of dress up um, for Halloween. But I'm, get <laughs> I'm getting told role play as well that they want this. Got this, got this, this. I'm getting this person is cheeky. Eight. Are you kidding? <laughs> This is cheeky. Look at that with the eight of wands. I mean, this is all to do with passions, to do with, de des wow, desire. This person. What have you done to this person? <laughs> what have you done? Oh, my gosh. I'm feeling like all of this kind of like excitement energy, this sense of like, oh, passion. Yes, I want them. Like, they are so <laughs> turned on by you. It's absolutely ridiculous. What have you done to them? All they do is probably look at you all the time. 
nine of wands they feel like you're really strong you're really powerful like you set your boundaries and you know you make them a, a stronger better person like you challenge them and they love this they really do love this they completely are in awe of you inspired by you they're up in their head about you as well and they don't want to be i'm getting without your love you could be dealing with an aries a leo a taurus a Scorpio, an Aquarius, potentially even a Sagittarius here, guys. Whew, I feel like my throat just got taken, my voice got taken away. <clears throat> um, look, they want everything with you. This person is on the way back around to open up and say, look, I know that we have to take our time with things. I know you've got your defences up and I understand for good reason why you've got your defences up, but I feel like we're not over. I want to have this passionate new beginning with you. I feel like basically I hit the jackpot when um, when you came into my life. And um, if you think and feel that I'm going to let you go, you've got another thought coming um, because it's not happening. As soon as <laughs> I'm getting the sense of like, as soon as this person has you, you know, in their life or they're able to make their way into your life or you're going to be with each other on a more consistent basis like that's the end of your single life completely done you're gonna be taken off the market incredibly quickly you know they may want to say look we have to take things slowly and you will be doing the same but it's gonna to get to a point where you're gonna have this kind of whirlwind between the two of you that your feet won't touch the ground oh i'm getting that song my feet don't touch the ground touch the ground it feels like is that David Guetta? Yeah. So, yeah, that has just started raining really heavily outside. So I feel like there's a lot of emotion in all of this. Like this person is very much in love with you. Wow. Okay. I literally just picked up the deck and saw the Hierophant Taurus energy. This person, I mean, I don't look at my decks when I go to shuffle them and I just put them down, but this person sees themselves marrying you and having a stable commitment here and they're on the way back around. Look at that eight of cups in reverse. They're on the way back. Why is the fool here? The world and the wheel of fortune. I mean, this is just outstanding. And you could be seeing lots of ones, lots of sevens, lots of fours, lots of eights and maybe even lots of nines okay and i'm even getting 10 10. what can we get here for the fall please for pisces the sun are you effing kidding me leo energy you're everything that they could potentially want ever wow Justice, they see themselves marrying you. We're currently in Libra season. I mean, this person is wanting to bring balance into your life. They are not playing. Knight of Wands, are you absolutely kidding me, guys? This person is... We saw that Knight of Wands earlier in that kind of beginning energy. This person wants to travel to see you. They've been on their own kind of path of self-discovery. And I feel like this person's becoming a lot more like self-reliant, a lot more confident, a lot more independent. Things are starting to kind of work out in their favor in other areas of their life. And they're getting ready to come forward and, you know, be your kind of knight in shining armor, guys. What else here? What's the gun underneath this sun? The, um, this fool? Judgment in reverse. Okay, Sagittarius energy. The Emperor in reverse. Aries energy. And one more. Queen of Cups. Well, there's your energy, guys. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, basically this person wants to have this new beginning with you and they've had it illuminated to them that they made a poor judgment in the past okay they made a poor judgment by showing of their by not showing of their feelings to you and potentially leading with a sense of immaturity from their past they needed time to grow up 
they may have led with their passion and was very like physically attracted to you but this caused a lot of chaos here okay with the five of swords maybe they just wanted something physical um but you wanted something stable with this person and you had to put your boundaries up and separate from them and so therefore you know you stopped giving into this connection you retreated from them but it was the right timing to do so beforehand but you know it was still painful to do this anyway and now that with this person coming back into your life they have to have a you know a slow burn with you even though that their passion and everything else is completely overriding them at this time like they are head over heels in love with you they know that they have to conduct themselves properly and all they've been doing is thinking about the past because they've had it illuminated with the sun that they you know made a hasty decision you know they were a bit reckless before and they may have just been kind of after what was making them feel good at the time in the sense of you know that self-gratification that instant kind of gratification rather than thinking things clearly with you about what was going on with your connection but look i just shuffled the deck and we saw the four of ones upright again so i feel a lot of you are dealing with a very high level soulmate or a twin flame um this person wants to do right by you and um, because they're thinking about you all the time like this love that they have for you but they're unsatisfied in their life because they feel like they've effed up so much with the nine of cups in reversal and they don't want to miss out on your love and that's why they feel the sense of urgency to make things right with you so if they were with you know the emperor in reversal beforehand with you then justice is going to come into play and they're going to turn around and be the emperor upright so that you can have the new beginning because they know that they're meant to come back around into your life and to ask for a second chance okay and conduct themselves in a better way in a better manner this time and they're just hoping that your lender you know your lender near and be a shoulder to cry on and this person i feel would be quite emotional what can we get here look queen of wands this person is i mean i can't even i can't even joke about this this person is so attracted to you they just want you more than anything some of you could be dealing with the same sex connection but it doesn't necessarily have to be why is the world here yep yeah, they couldn't get to your life into your life quick enough with that knight of swords they have a lot going on here guys a lot going on look they can't get too quick enough because their passion is going to override them they can't stop thinking about you with the six of swords in reverse this person has had issues with speaking up they're sorry that they didn't basically collaborate with you before they caused a load of drama but they're now coming off of the fence okay they've now made a decision to get their bum off of the fence and come forward towards you because they don't want to be out in the cold anymore so there's going to be a lot of news coming into you and it's going to feel like a, an overload of information basically what else here for that world two of pentacles seven of swords hangman in reversal there's your energy guys Page of Cups in reverse. What's have gone underneath the Seven of Swords? Three of Cups in reverse, all yet. High Priestess in reverse, Cancer's Energy with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And we got the Ten of Wands up here. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups in reverse, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Magician in reversal. Well, with that Magician in reversal and the High Priestess coming out reversal, okay, and then we have the Moon nearby, there was a lot of illusions at play tricksters around potentially some sort of spiritual warfare to try to keep your connection in the dark you know you and this person coming together um i feel also that this person may open up to you and say look i was dealing with someone in my life who um was basically playing me around who messed me around um who lied to me who was spreading lies about myself trying to take my reputation they have a massive chip on their shoulder that I'm ending of a situation 
and that I'm deciding to choose you and this love and to move on forward on this new path with you and other people haven't liked it and so therefore it hasn't gone down very well I'm getting it's gone down like a lead balloon and this person's having to pick up the pieces to do with another situation and they're trying to clear their ish up basically because they've had this reality check that they do not want to be where they're at anymore and they're moving themselves forward because they strive to have you know a better life and the way that they see themselves of having a better life is to be able to come forward towards you and they're trying to strategize on how they can prioritize you in their life after being withdrawn from you for so long and they don't want to be withdrawn from you they can't basically deal with this sexual tension anymore okay this person can't deal with not having the answers from you of where they stand in this connection and it's going to force them and push them to come forward and be like look I want to know where you stand with me. Do you want me or not? Do you love me? Do you love me the way that I love you? Do you feel for me the way that I feel for you? And you may just be taken a bit aback here, guys, because you have carried this like unconditional love and care for this person for so long and you've had to keep it to yourself. And then this person is now feeling your connection on such a strong energetic level now that they can't help themselves but come forward towards you and be like, look, I want everything. I want everything with you. I want this connection. I feel like a fool for you, but I don't want to be foolish. And I know that I've gone through what I've gone through and I've had to learn a lesson from it. And believe me, I've learned my lesson, but I don't want you to see me in a particular way. Like I'm not interested in these third parties. I'm not interested in staying where I'm at. I don't want to be out here with a load of other people. That's not what I'm interested in. I want this pure love with you because I miss you and I want you and I see you and I having of everything together and I want to be a one woman man or a one man woman or one whatever. I want to be with you. That's it. End of discussion. <laughs> wow, guys, I want you. You're the empress. Look, just had to. Yeah, that is on camera. Perfect. Yeah. You are head and shoulders above everyone else. This person is going to say to you, look, you are my divine feminine. I know that I am your divine masculine. It, however this resonates, guys, this person knows that you are the be all and end all. And they're on their way. They don't want to be crying over spilt milk anymore to do with whatever or happened in the past or what could have happened, what could have been different, what could have done this no they're gonna be like look i'm completely done with all these really childish silly games and petty people and mind games and all of this bs from the past i'm done with all that cutting them all off i haven't had any luck with anything to do with these other situations i invested heavily people have been taking advantage of me you know people have been taking advantage of my money my finances my resources my good nature etc etc and you have never done that to me ever. Even when you had more than a right to be able to do that with me, you never did that. You never did that. And now I want to be able to give you of everything. And this person wants to give you of everything. But they gave of everything to these other people who were undeserving. And they now know that you are very much deserving of, of everything. And that's why they want to give you of everything. And why is that? Because look at you queen of wands the fool they want to have the new beginning with you look at this i'm about to clarify i'm clarifying the wheel of fortune in my head right the fool is right above the wheel of fortune and we had the fool coming out this person wants the new beginning with you you are everything what else for the wheel of fortune Ten of Cups in reversal. You're going to be going from the Ten of Wands to all of this stress and strain. Luck's turning around in your favour. And you're going to get out of the sense of being in Ten of Cups in reversal. And everything's going to go up to Ten of Cups upright. That's what's happening here. Walking away from things that no longer serve you here with the Eight of Cups. 
Your person had to find that sense of confidence within themselves to leave what's not serving them anymore, okay? They had to leave a codependent home family environment, okay? Aha, the devil. Look, this person is obsessed with you. They're very obsessed with you and are obsessed with this connection. They f feel all this passion and desire for you. Eight of Swords and the Devil, I mean, this person, I'm not going to lie, I know that sounds a bit thingy, but this person has a lot of kind of like naughty thoughts in their head um, about you. You are like the star in their eyes, okay, with that devil and the Eight of Swords, they just wish that they could, you know, have their, I'm getting wicked way with you. <laughs> um, you've got this person in their feels, feels. I hate of swords. This person wants to say to you, look, I had to deal with karma. I had to deal with karma and I had to get out of a situation that I was trapped somewhere. Um, but look, ace of wands with the eight of swords and the devil. This person just hopes that they can have some sort of kind of cheeky encounter with you. But they knew that you weren't going to tolerate that if they were still going to be in a situation elsewhere. And you put your boundaries up and you were like, no. I'm only going to stick around if you have equal give and take with the six of pentacles. And if I'm not receiving of that, then I'm walking off. And that's what you did before. That's what you had to do. Because you weren't going to be here for the drama with the five of wands in reverse. You know, you take away the five, five of wands from the nine, you get the four of wands. And this person knows that you and them are most likely divine counterparts or twin flames or high level soulmates. And so therefore, that's all that you were wanting was this union, reunion and reconciliation and for there to be stability in your connection and for you to celebrate of your connection. But you didn't have have any of that because obviously things didn't work out before. There was drama and there was heartache and pain with the Ten of Swords. You know, you wanted this person to collaborate with you before, but they didn't. And you had to set your boundaries up and you had to take that leap of faith elsewhere, even though... You may have questioned yourself, well, did I make the wrong decision with the strength in reverse? Okay. Should I have just stayed around in the situation and had something physical with this person? You know, should I have tried again? But you did the right thing beforehand. And I think and feel that you know that you did the right thing beforehand because it wasn't ready for you both to have what you, you know, were wanting originally with this person. What can we have here with the uh, romance angels, please? This person is going to fight to the end for you in order to bring a sense of compromise. They don't want any blame game with you or anything like that. They just want to settle the score. They want to apologize. This person wants to open up. They may say to you, look, I've had issues to do with rejection from my childhood and it really has um, been challenging here. This person may have even had to deal with some sort of addiction, okay? Addiction from their past. What else here, please? Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Well, we know that this person wants to do plenty of that. Gosh, guys, this is absolutely crazy. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this going. So this person is trying to give off the impression that the connection between you is unrequited because they don't want to kind of, oh, what am I getting? They don't want you to kind of know that they're struggling as much as they are with this kind of passion and desire for you. So they want you to think and feel that they are not on the way to you, but they are completely and utterly obsessed with you and this connection, okay? This person is very possessive of you. Um, not necessarily in a toxic way, but they are going to work as hard as they possibly can to sort out whatever they need to because they cannot contain themselves for much longer. As I say that with a passion card, are you absolutely effing kidding me? Um, I literally just said that they can't hold it back anymore. They're trying to give off the impression that they're not passionate for you, but they're literally, I'm getting busting at the seams. They want to have this encounter or lots of encounters with you. I mean, this person is... I mean, look how this person, how they're looking at each other with that sense of desire. I mean, this person, when they look at you, they look at you as if you're like some sort of piece of art. 
don't be fooled by this because we know that's not but we know that's not true <clears throat> Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes, you're having to have faith right now that this person, if they're dealing with an ex, that they're re releasing them. The time has come to clear your energy. So this person is releasing an ex, especially if there's unrequited love, if they are dealing with something romantic. But I feel predominantly as well, if they're not dealing with something romantic, there's been unrequited love elsewhere in the sense of, you know, they haven't had the, the proper support in their life. And you know, they may not be seeing eye to eye with family members or friends or what have you, because obviously we can have lots, like lots of different forms of love. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Well, they certainly want to have lots of time, quality time with you. Wanting to seize the opportunity to be with you. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Well, we've got the Wheel of Fortune here, the Ace of Cups, the Fall, the World. You know, we've got justice, we have the sun, we have the eight of wands. There's a lot of beautiful energy here. There's a lot to be really happy about, guys. Give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. Yeah, they're about to come in and ask for a second chance because the attraction is too much for them. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Wow, I was literally just getting in my head. You've got them by the short and curlies. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why that came through. It sounds so crude, but <laughs> it's like you've got them. You've got them. You know, you've got them. Okay, with the this could be the one and worth waiting for, and playfulness, and you deserve love, and release your ex. Yeah. So this person is realizing that they deserve love. Okay. Um, they deserve true love, a divine love. They're being divinely guided here with worth waiting for to show you how they feel for you. And they're just hoping that you are going to be open and receptive to them. Um, this person is trying to get out of their head so that they can show you that they want you and this connection more than anything. Okay. And you know, if your connection comes across as is potentially a little bit unconventional or, you know, anything like that, this person just wants your connection. They couldn't really care about what everyone else has got to say about it because they're becoming stronger within themselves and more accepting of themselves, which is truly beautiful, guys. I mean, I can't even praise this reading enough. It's absolutely gorgeous. But anyway, you're the only one that they want. Um, I'm getting forever and ever. That's it. Case closed. I don't think and feel that you have to question this person. Um, they're going to have all their cards on the table. You've caught them out. You know, they're completely lovesick. They're completely lovesick over you. They, they want you more than anything. Wow. Whew. So it's going to be up to you though, guys, isn't it? So anyway, that's going to be the end of the reading. Um, but I hope you have enjoyed this reading as much as I've enjoyed reading for you today. And if you have enjoyed this reading and you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, there are donation links now available. So thank you so much to those of you who've already donated. I greatly appreciate you guys. Even if you do not financially donate, a great way to energetically donate is to like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll get back to you on those comments so thank you all so much i hope you have a wonderful week um please take care of yourselves um sending love and light your way speak to you soon any blessings bye guys